Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 review. So I have got um, a little bit of a haul. As you know, I've done the Aflex um, vlog where I went and shopped in there. Some shops I couldn't actually vlog in and I was a little bit disappointed simply because, um, I don't know, some of them just really, really funny. I went to a fancy dress shop, guys, and I think my daughter didn't make it any easier for me. They were messing about with the stuff and she, they got told off. So when I walked in with them, she instantly kind of dismissed me wanting to touch anything or vlog the shop. And I just thought, that's fine. Do you know what I mean? I like to ask, you know, if I can vlog. Some shops were completely open and fine to, uh, for me to vlog. And, and I have done. But if you see me kind of like putting the camera away quite quick, it's because I've been told to. Um, but yeah, this is a couple of things that I picked up along the way and I thought today's the best day to kind of share it with you guys. If my camera goes off, I apologise in advance. I am on like 25%. I will have to plug it in and we'll continue from there. So first things first from the Affleck, Affleck's Palace um, haul. I did go into Primark, which is not in Affleck's Palace, but... I do have a separate video of beauty and it will include um, Primark in there. But I'm going to kind of keep this together because it's all on the same kind of um, agenda kind of thing. So in Primark, I seen this, I grabbed it. It didn't have my actual size, so I went for a smaller size. But you know what? I'm losing weight and it probably will fit me eventually. I got a size medium, guys. <laughs> Not fitted in a medium for quite a while, but I'm going to fit in it this time. So, guys, this is what I picked up. Yes, I know a few people who will be happy that I picked this up and probably wants it. So I have got a little bit of an obsession with baby Yoda at the minute, guys. And um, and Yoda, I've always loved Yoda in itself. He's such a, a lovely character from um, Star Wars. But I could not resist this. And it's the, the child and it's from the programme, the Manda, is it Mandalorian? So um, if you've not seen that, thing a program i think it's a program um i've seen little clippets of it and i just think it's absolutely amazing and it's absolutely gorgeous so i grabbed a medium in this guys and it was seven pound they did have some other star wars kind of t-shirts in there in primark now don't forget i was in the manchester one um i don't know if this fits guys i would like to think it fits me but it doesn't look like it may fit me if not i will just keep it as a, a trophy of my day manchester but i will try and try this on at the end and see if it fits me and what it looks like on and so forth so that is that guys so then moving swiftly over i was downstairs in Affleck's palace in fact let me just carry on in matalam uh, matalam primark quickly because I did actually grab a vest top. Uh, I grabbed a red vest top because I my last one is so small, I can't fit into it now. But I grabbed this one, it's a large, it was £1.80, it's just a vest top. I was going to grab a black one because, you know, these are great for going under certain items. Like at the minute, you can see my bra at the side of this, which is fine. But if I was to go out on a night out, I wouldn't like my bra exposed in that way. So I'd probably put a vest top underneath it for £1.80. You can't really complain. Um, I also bought some really nice knickers. Um, I got the shorts because I do like to wear shorts. I don't wear thongs anymore. I used to. Don't anymore. So I got these shorts, guys. And these were £2 for a four-pack. And I just got these blue design. I probably would have preferred the black ones they had there. But they only had a size 8 to 10. <sighs> Wouldn't even get my left cheek in there. So I grabbed these ones, guys. Which are around... They're actually 18 to 20, which is bigger than what I thought. I thought they were 14 to 16. Never mind. I do like comfort. I do have a big bum. So I do like my shorts to be very comfortable. So they were two quid, guys. So uh, you know what? I just bought two quid. I'm not right bothered. Um, I also bought um, another one of these because I have a few um, things. It's actually quite a dodged one. Here is the little pinhole. The pinhole should be in the middle. It's actually at the end. But I picked this up in Affleck's Palace. So I just grabbed it. And I just thought, well, you know what? I just grab one. Every time I see one of these, I'm going to grab one. Because I just think they're great for friend mail. With a, a box of um, incense sticks. Gothic ones. 
downstairs they had the usual shop it's been there for absolutely years and years and years it's still there now i used to buy all my posters for my wall in there i used to buy my um band patches i used to buy my t-shirts from them my band merch when i lived in rochdale and okay guys i'm real sorry about that my camera died i knew we were going to do it um so let's get carrying on so obviously in Affleck palace i think there's about four floors all in all um I tried to film each floor I was going on. It's very hard. I had a suitcase with me, which obviously I'd just come from um, where I live. I had a massive bag on my back, which was extremely heavy. I have a walking aid and I had shopping. So it was hard. Although my uncle was carting my suitcase around everywhere. Do you know, I've still got to, I've still got to remember that these people are here with me shopping as well. So as I'm vlogging, I'm trying to do like three in one. <laughs> it were a nightmare. But all in all, guys, we got it done. So in this shop, there was loads of things that I wanted to grab, but I was trying to make my money stretch to the point where I got something of everything that I possibly wanted. The only thing I didn't get that I was looking for was some gothic belts. Um, but, you know, I can get them at any time. It's not a problem. I've got enough belts to go on with. So I grabbed this, guys. So they had all different pictures up on the wall. I did ask if they had motionless in white. And they said they didn't, which I was like, oh, what a shame. But I ended up buying this. So as you can see, it's Baby Yoda. Yeah, I had to get a whole Baby Yoda thing while I was in Manchester. And I just thought this was so goddamn cute. And I know somebody who would want this. Yes, I do. And I know she's probably watching it right now going, oh, my God, Baby Yoda love it i actually wonder if the um, dmc design if they could make a baby order like this maybe not she'd have to have the mold for it I, I suppose but it's an idea do you know baby order different color eyes and so forth but i got this guys and it was 4.99 4.99 and i thought that was a bloody bargain um if they had motion or somewhere i would have grabbed that i did ask if they had opet and they didn't so I, I tend to stick and i did ask if they had jack skeleton as well funny enough and he said no we don't he said but we did have and i was like damn so i got this guys it's actually one of them frames that you can bend and you can have it like sitting up as a picture frame or you can put it on your wall where am i going to put this i haven't got the foggiest idea because i'm not joking guys obviously i got that big wooden heart with the mirrors at the back shelf so they're up in my bedroom now i also got that massive bottle top skull thing so that's up on my wall i've had to re jug rejig all my pictures around on my bedroom wall and my husband's actually said to me stop buying pictures for the wall there is no more wall space i'm not joking i've got all my Ann Stokes clocks downstairs i've got all my Ann Stokes uh, nemesis pictures up on the wall and now obviously baby yoda has got to go somewhere where i don't know but somewhere but that was 4.99 guys so i got that as well so I have got lots more from Affleck's Palace. Um, I don't know if I'll fit it all in this video. I think I probably will do. So let's get on to this. Now, the item that this jewelry is on didn't come from Affleck's Palace. I got it afterwards. But I might as well just include it in this video because it's being used for alternative jewelry. So, guys, let me just grab it. I'll just take that off because that's my scarf that was on there. So, guys this is my necklace holder that i purchased from a handy shop in manchester and in front of you is some of the new bits of jewelry i have picked up from Affleck palace so let's get stuck in to the ground floor so in the ground floor of Affleck palace which you will see in the video they did lots of different jewelry they did band patches they did I did actually buy, guys, this, this ring from there and I bought a spike. Unfortunately, I lost the spike on the day I was going getting my um, septum pierce, which I didn't get done, which we'll explain another time. Um, and Vicky did actually take the spike out and put this in for me and she handed me the spike back, but I don't know what I did with it. I don't know if it's fell in my dad's car. Either way, it was 4 99 I've lost it. I'll get another one. It's not a big deal. But I grabbed this, guys. Um, this was £8. And it's on, like, this ropey kind of um, necklace. 
and it's got the moon and it's got like the pentagram star in star inside and then it's got an amethyst kind of crystal amethyst jewel hanging on the, the end and it says amethyst crystal three moons eight pound and this is from a company which they would call luna i could not resist this guys it is so goddamn beautiful it's so pretty and as you know i am trying to not build up my necklace because i've got lots of necklaces i just wanted more alternative necklaces than what i've got already i, I do have a lot of skull kind of references but i wanted something like pentagrams and stuff like that so that's what it looks like guys it's on a claw clasp like this and it has a chain so you can have it either tighter or looser obviously for me i will have it as a normal necklace let me just show you i'm just going to hold it because i don't want to fasten each one but that's how pretty it looks very nice black on black but yeah i got that guys and it was eight pound so when you start to uh amount up all these eight pounds it gets rather expensive but that was my first piece guys everyone that i've done i'll put on here this is amazing we'll talk about this at the end so that was that guys then from luna again i couldn't resist this because i see everybody with it and i cannot find it anywhere they did all different versions of these guys they had ones with spike they had one with a big loop they had one with little loops they had loads with just spikes oh i was lost for choice and it says luna Aflex palace this was 10 pound guys and for £10, I thought it was bloody worth it because you pay that kind of amount on Killstar or anywhere else for that matter. And as you can see, there is three adjustment press studs and one clip. So you can have it on the... I've got a very small neck, guys. So mine's on the second from the last one. And that's up there. But how goddamn cute is that? Um, I've got a lot of chokers, guys. I'm going to take my chokers out of the wardrobe soon and I'm going to put it in here because this is absolutely amazing. I will, we'll discuss about this another time or later on in the video. So that was that guys. And I thought for 10 pound, it was worth it. Um, again, you'll see everything in the video that I did. So I'm just gonna hook that up here, like that. Right, next layer. So then I picked up this. Now, a few people have noticed this. I think Backbones, Paige Toddington said she'd, she'd got something from I think it was it was a shop called Ralph Rofers and my friend who lives just around the corner he also said oh my god where did you get that from so it was from it was actually from Affleck's Palace but they actually stock all of the Rofers kind of jewelry pieces and stuff so I seen this and it was five pound now um this let me just say this was from downstairs and this was from downstairs guys so the lunar pieces were from downstairs just so you know and these were on the second floor i think and it was a jewelry little clothes shop jewelry shop that was there in the corner they did all kinds of piercing stuff all kinds of necklaces bracelets earrings you name it they had it so i grabbed this because i just thought it was so bloody pretty it's like a fairy i think it actually is it says arwen's even star necklace it was five pound five pound i paid eight pound for that one on a bit of rope and i paid ten pound for that one which i didn't mind paying but this one for five pound from rofers and i was like yes now i used to have lots of necklace from the same brand lots of uh, lots of necklaces but they've discolored over time and i've just kind of ended up throwing them in the bin but i have got so much jewelry i probably will just wear these every now and again but look how pretty that is guys it's so pretty i absolutely love it it actually looks from afar it looks like a fairy like an angel kind of thing but it's like a like a star on a the backing's like a, a sterling silver loop it is beautiful so that was that guys so that was five pounds so i'll put that up here and then this piece here i actually found in a charity shop and it was two pound and i just said can i have that and it just looks like somebody's actually made this and it thought it was really cute and there was these little skull, little skulls and these purple and black gems pretty much like what Lindsay made 100 percent Lindsay. she makes something similar to this and she'll probably look at this and go that'll be like something i make and i'm not too sure if it's a natural choker guys 
Or it's a bracelet because it was actually in the packet like this and I thought maybe it's a bracelet but I will probably wear it as a choker. I'm not going to put it on now guys because it's just there we go. So that was that and that was £2. So I just thought that will do for £2. Right, next piece was from downstairs again. As you can see, it's from Luna at Flex Palace. And I paid £8 for this as well, guys. So this is on a silver plated chain. And it has this, let me see if I've got it the right way. Is it witchcraft? Yeah, witchcraft with like the pentagram and the, the moon as well and the star. I just thought this was really, really effective. It was really, really pretty and I like this. If you're wondering why I'm taking them all like the packaging, because there's just no need to keep all that packaging on it. I want them to all sit nicely. Claw clasp again, guys. And it just sits on the neck like so. Again, I think this is very effective, very pretty. Very similar to what I see on Etsy. Now, I know, guys, Aflex Palace is a massive shop. They're not like what you'd call a small business. But in actual fact, guys, I think it's people who actually rent out parts of Aflex Palace to do their business. Yes, they're probably a little bit more um, bigger in that way because everybody shops in Aflex Palace. When I was there, guys, it was absolutely crammed with people a lot of chinese people with the masks on and i was like Ugh. um but yeah lovely and i do like to support them as well they said that a percentage of their their sales goes to sophie lancaster too that was a big one for me not every shop guys but only some of them but the ones that did i was quite happy to um support while we're on that matter i was actually downstairs it was that shop and um I've took my bands off at the minute, guys, because I've had tattoo work done and I'm having an allergic reaction um, to having these bands on. Now, if you can see here, I've got a bit of a rash. It's called a sweat rash. It's nothing to do with my jewellery. I've been wearing this quite a lot. So this is the um, Sophie Lancaster band and it's the Weirdo Mosha Freak. I actually have the T-shirt of this as well and I have the other T-shirt of this in green and I actually bought another Sophie band. They don't last very long, these, if you wear them constantly. So I'm not going to be wearing it constantly like I normally do because they do stretch and snap. Now, um, I think I paid $3.99 for this, maybe $5.99 for this. I wasn't really bothered because the money went straight to the Sophie Lancaster um, organisation. And that to me means a lot. I do buy a lot of merch every year. I did go and have a look to see if there's any t-shirts in Sophie, but I couldn't find any, guys. So... Um, maybe I can order something um, something better next year. I've actually got my bracelet as well off Lynn's on here. Right, moving up to the top one here. This one was only £3 and again it was from Rofers, Rofers, however you want to call it. And it's a Jack Skeleton. Yes, didn't you know I'd had to have a Jack Skeleton necklace somewhere along the line. And for the price of four, well, I'm not even going to mess about three pound so i'm quite happy with that they had absolutely loads guys i'm not too sure if i filmed that that one i'm not too sure it's as light as a feather guys it is literally like looks like a little bit of a disc thing and it's on this what i call the bath chain i call these the bubble bath chain <laughs> it's what your bath plugs normally sits on but do you know what for dress jewelry it don't really matter do you know what i mean i like it it's pretty and for three pound it's an extra added bonus to your collection I'll put that up there that was that one obviously this one is not one I bought like now this is my scarlet and chains I am going to be doing another scarlet and chains purchase sometime this year I did have big hopes to get my belt and everything but unfortunately because I'm doing the contest I can't afford to so I will be getting um the bracelet and the earrings to match this so it's whole set and then next year I will branch out and get some more stuff i really would love to get the maxi raven stuff because i absolutely love what she's done i can't afford to i don't have a disposable income to just splash well i do but i don't i have to save it now so that's that guys and then i got a choker with jack on again this was from rolfers again i like this kind of design i've got a hell of a lot of chokers guys and i mean a hell of a lot because I used to shop in Affleck Palace every weekend, guys, because I used to live in Manchester. So that was something that I always used to do. Now, this was £4, guys. And again, I thought for £4, it was really cheap. 
They had so much jewellery there, it was unbelievable. I could have spent more. I mean, I spent £160, guys, in Affleck's Palace and surrounding shops around there. Like, I did treat my daughter to some stuff because at the end of the day, she is 16 still. I know she don't live with mum anymore, but she's still 16. She needed underwear, she needed leggings, she needed some makeup brushes. So I got her some stuff and some Chinese whacked out thing that she wanted. I don't know what the hell that was about. I think my uncle bought that, actually. Um, but yeah, that was that guys. It's very, very delicate this. I mean really delicate. So just You've just got to be careful with certain things like this. I will put on my chokers on here Again, this necklace holder is amazing. It's just velcroed with straps and You can just put your necklaces over it. The last one I got guys was four pound. Again, this was from um, Rolfers, Rolfers, Rolfers and it's a pentagram in a Celtic ring absolutely love this and i thought well there you go it says it there pentagram so it must be a pentagram i don't know where pentacle comes into it people get confused i think but that's that one guys that was my last bit of jewelry that i bought from there from my flex palace and that was four pound now guys i did buy some sweets and stuff like that from like crazy american sweets but they're all gone because i've had them all but just to give you an example of the kind of things that you get in Affleck's palace if when I'm doing the rest of my stuff, I come up across more from Affleck's Palace, I will mention where it's from, but it's not in this category. So that was that, guys. Now, this makeup holder, um, I think was $14.99. If you look at the back, they've got little bags. So you can put things like earrings in here, guys. So you've got earrings, bracelets, maybe bracelets or watches, and you've got all this. And it folds up as well, and you can put it in your wardrobe. I absolutely friggin' love this. I've got too many necklaces at the minute, guys, on my um, Killstar um, quartz holder. So I'm going to take some of them off and put it on that and maybe put a hook on the wall and put that up on the wall. So that was that, guys. Now, this is not Affleck Palace, but it was around Affleck Palace. I went into the Pop Store. Yes, I kept showing you the bag, which is the Funkos which was Forbidden Planet, if you didn't know already, guys. So here is my bag. So I went to Forbidden Planet. Oh, my God. I wanted everything. And I mean everything. I was looking for Vikings. They said they don't sell it anymore, so I was a little bit gutted about that. I asked for Jack Skeleton stuff, and there was only a tiny little, like, few things left. And I ended up grabbing this guy. So, yes, I couldn't help it. It's a new addiction that I'm starting to fall into, but not massive. I'll only buy certain things like i want to complete the whole jack skeleton so all these i will get them eventually but i just thought i'll grab this little guy now because i've actually got jack and sally already but i just like this one so this is the snowman jack it was 10.99 this is the um 448 final figure i will not take them out of the box guys so i'll just put this up on the top of my unit with my other two that i've got there and any more that i get i will just just use the whole top of my unit to, to place them so they're there and I know where they are. So for 10 99 I thought it was pretty cute. And it's, I know it's Christmassy and all, but I just thought that was really cheap. They did have a gorgeous rucksack in there, guys. But it was 49 99 and I could have got it, but then I would have had no money when I went into Rochdale because I did go to Bottoms Mill in Rochdale and grabbed a few things. So I wanted to spread my money out of the week. So I got that, guys. And then I, sp I spotted him. I don't think he's the baby Yoda because I did say it's that baby Yoda and he said, no, it's just Yoda, but he just looks just the same as baby Yoda. So I got it. Um, this is a Star Wars and it's 10 99 again and it's 02. It's the actual old Yoda, but he looks just like baby Yoda. Now, baby Yoda is coming out in April. I have pre-ordered baby Yoda on um, Pop in a Box, I think it is. Um, I, I'm going to be having a look at stuff on there. I probably will go into the Forbidden Planet in my town next time I go in and see if I can find the rest of these to complete it. But that was the two from Forbidden Planet, guys. And that is it for Aflex Palace. So I hope you enjoyed this little um, haul of video and stuff. Um, I did get some incense sticks, guys, but I don't think I got any in Aflex Palace. Um, like I said, I got my daughter some stuff, but obviously that's with her, so I can't show you what I got there. But I was quite happy with what I got, especially when it comes to like all the jewellery I got from Affleck's Palace, um, all the band things I got. 
and obviously I didn't buy any clothing in Affleck's Palace. I usually do, guys, to be honest with you. That is where I spend most of my money in Affleck's Palace on clothing. But you know what? I've got a lot of clothing at the minute. I know I've got to do my wardrobe tour at some point. Now I'm back home and I can get my house organised. My studio is an absolute mess. And I mean a mess, guys. I've got lots of new giveaways coming up. I've got one coming up very, very shortly that you may be interested in. Um, but yeah, that is that for now, guys. So put your comments down below. Tell me if you've been to Affleck's Palace, which was your favourite one. Um, the video is going to be on separate from this, obviously. Um, but enjoy the video. It's a bit of a vlog day out. For me, I absolutely enjoyed it. It was something I looked forward to. Um, it was a shame some of my family members couldn't make it for for the reasons that they had but you know what i absolutely loved spending time with my uncle and um my two girls caitlin and leah caitlin's not mine but i've she's like under my wing i'm like a surrogate mum and um we treated them to a lovely meal it was the meal we went into the restaurant upstairs and it was 35 pound for four meals four drinks and i thought 35 pound it was worth every bloody penny my uncle and i split it so i paid for caitlin and my uncle paid for leah but do you know what? They loved it. They had a really good time. All right, guys, take care of yourself and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment, like, don't like, whichever is your preference. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.